This is News Nation Now. Good Friday morning to you. Welcome to News Nation Now. I'm G. Suki, a live look at New Orleans on June 4th. Here's your morning update. The jobs report for May will be released, revealing whether worker shortages are still slowing hiring. In April, U.S. employers hired far fewer workers than expected, highlighting a disconnect between companies and employees. Businesses are rushing to add workers immediately due to demand, yet many of the unemployed are either seeking better jobs than they had before the pandemic, still lack affordable child care, are worrying about contracting COVID-19, or have decided to retire early. President Biden will deliver a speech on the May jobs report after its release this morning. Also happening today, the House Judiciary Committee is set to question former White House counsel Don McGahn. The committee will question McGahn behind closed doors two years after House Democrats originally sought his testimony as part of investigations into former President Donald Trump. The interview is the result of an agreement last month in federal court. The U.S. will help the rest of the world battle the COVID-19 pandemic by distributing millions of unused vaccines. The Biden administration will initially send out 25 million doses. About 19 million of them will go to the United Nations-backed COVAX Global Vaccine Sharing Program. The rest will be given to Mexico, Canada, and other U.S. allies and partners. The White House expects to share 80 million doses by the end of this month. The U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission is instating new federal safety requirements for infant sleep products, things like inclined and in-bed sleepers and small bassinets. It comes after specific products were linked to dozens of infant deaths. The new rule will limit any sleep product incline to 10 degrees. And trending this morning, United Airlines is betting on bringing back supersonic travel, jetting travelers to London or Australia in half the time. United has ordered 15 supersonic planes from aviation startup Boom, which is based in Denver, Colorado. United says the jets will be able to zoom passengers from New York to London in just three and a half hours. San Francisco to Tokyo in only six hours. This is all a few years off though and still requires government approval. Boom expects the jets to begin carrying passengers by 2029. Now we just have to figure out how much this is gonna cost. I'm G, thanks for watching. Stay with us throughout the day for breaking news coverage and hope you have a great Friday and start of your weekend.